Well, I'd like to take a minute here and just talk about the critical safety cap on the 7000. So there's three different versions here. There's the P447-19, the P447 Bravo-19, which I'll talk about that in a minute, and the P538, uh, 25 inch, as we can see here. So the three main versions here, the K7000A, as far as I can tell, doesn't have a critical safety cap. I haven't been able to find one, see it in the circuit, trace it out. You know, from what I can tell, there is no critical safety cap on the 7000A. If, I, if there is and I'm mistaken, let me know. Someone pointed out, but I don't think that there is one, not from what I can tell. Anyway, so I want to just make a quick video here discussing the differences, what you can find, what you see, and how to test them in circuit. So let's say you have a fuse that's being taken out. Most of the time, it's either going to be an HOT. I have this frame here removed for ease of display because I'm in the middle of rebuilding this one. The flyback is the old white knob that's cracked in a bunch of spots. So I'm in the middle of rebuilding this one, so I have it apart. Uh, but the critical safety cap is this guy right here, C36. And you can even see on here it says uh, critical safety cap. Now there's three different versions of the way this is set up in the circuit. There's the single cap here that has four legs. You can see it's a single cap with one, two, and then if you look in there, there's uh, three, four. So there's it's one single cap with four legs. And let's say you have fuses blowing. Most of the time, uh, someone must hook this up to a uh, system without an isolation transformer and it takes out one of the diodes in the rectifier circuit or your HOT or your voltage regulator is bad or you got your power circuit die up uh, sorry power circuit uh, resistors are are out the ceramics and and the 1.8 these two 1.8 this 270 things like that the normal I've got plenty of videos on what to do when it comes to blowing fuses on the 7000. But the critical safety cap is a, a strange animal because to test it in circuit, if it tests shorted in circuit, you could either have the, the cap be bad or the HOT be bad. So if you read this, I'll show you how to read it here in a moment. That's the purpose of this. If you read this and it reads shorted, you'll have to read your HOT. If it reads shorted, you'll have to either remove the HOT or remove the critical safety cap because in circuit, if this reads shorted, there's no way to know if it's the HOT that's actually shorted or the safety cap because they're tied together in the circuit to each other. So this is the first example of what the critical safety cap actually is on C36 for this style. Again, this is the 19 inch P447 and you can see it's the single cap with four legs. So let me show you how to read it and all of these are going to be pretty much read the same way. So those four posts are these four here. One, two, three, four. Now all these chassis are going to have four posts here, but depending on the configuration, they may not be connected to each other, and I'll show you what I mean. So one, two, three, four. So our HOT are these three, one, two, three. So if we test our HOT just to start it out here, um, I don't think I'll be able to get all this in one frame here. Let's see. Okay. If we test our HOT in circuit here, uh, negative to the top of the triangle, and then each leg should be around 0.5 voltage drop. So there's... 0.47, that's good, and 0.47, so I just round up to 0.5. So now we know our HOT is good. So you can have a good HOT and still have a, a shorter critical safety cap. So the way you read these are diagonal. So you can go to either one of these two posts with your negative, and you go catty corner diagonal to the other post, and we should have our 0.5 voltage drop again. There it is. So we switch over to this one, go diagonal, and there it is. Critical safety cap is good. Now these two legs are going to read shorted because they're on the same side of the cap. So they're shorted, they're shorted. So of course we have our meter here in diode mode with our continuity. So if you don't have a meter with continuity, you can you know uh, check to make sure that you don't have a short by going to ohms here. And just go across here to here and it shouldn't read shorted. See 1.8 mega ohm. So if you don't have a meter with continuity mode, you can just put it on ohms and verify that, you know, you, see this here is the short, 0 0.4. If you go across to here and you get 0 0.4, that's bad. But you can see it's 1.8 mega ohm. If we go across here, diagonal, uh, 1.8 mega ohm. So that's good. You know, you're just checking to make sure it's not shorted. So if you don't have a continuity mode, that's another way to do it. Uh, but for instance, if you were to go from here to here, a caddy corner there, uh, let's move over like so or like so and you read this it's bad so that's how you test that in circuit and out of circuit would be the same way uh, if you take this out of circuit and you go diagonal across each way and you don't get a short 
Now you're not going to read the 0.5 voltage drop because you're reading across the HOT circuit. Uh, but out, if you take this out and you read, oh, I'm all dirty from this stupid thing, darn it. If you read a, a diagonal with it out of circuit and it's open, that's good. It, you're just checking to make sure that it's not shorted. So that's how you read this type of critical safety cap. Now, we have the 25 inch here. This is a different animal. You can see that there's two caps in here. You have C36 is this one here. Let me get a better pointer here. Uh, C36 is this guy right here, this green one. And the blue one here is C69. So it's, they are using two separate caps here for that same circuit. And you can see it's actually got two separate boxes. And this is C36. If we zoom in, you can look and see that it's actually silk screened on the chassis here, C36 right there. And we can't see this one, but this is C69. So uh, there you go, Six, C69. So 69 and 36, and it's the same exact method here. Obviously there's not gonna be, uh, these two legs are together in circuit on this side, but they're not on this side. So I'll show you how to read this setup, and it shouldn't be any different from the other setup. Okay, so if we go to our HOT, HOT is our 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So these two are in the same circuit, and if we look on this one, I think it's actually a different, let's look here. Yeah, see, it's a totally different type of setup there. Hmm. You can see how this has, this is the leg of the HOT is all this one big pad here. If we look at this leg of the HOT on this one, it's totally different. So that's the set, that's why they're using different circuitry, or they're, they're not all the same. But it's the same thing. So of course this is going to ring together and this side should not. So there you go. But it's the same way. You read it uh, diagonal. So we go from here across to this one. There's our 0.5 and diagonal over here across to this one. 0.5. So if you were to, for instance, to go here to here and it and it shorted, it was shorted, then, then this cap would be bad. If you go from here to over here and it reads shorted, then this cap would be bad. So when you have the two different caps in here separately, that's how you read this, this style and this type of setup here. So again, you're just checking to make sure when you go uh, diagonal, it's not shorted. If you are, it's that one. If it goes uh, shorted across this way, then it's this one. So that's how you test this type of setup on this, this style, on the 25 inch, the P538. So the P447B is a bit of a different animal here. Uh, you can see that it's labeled P447B and it has this KS10 stamp on it. And you can visually see that it's a different style of board. Um, it's got the ribbon cable here for the remote board as opposed to standard wiring. So it's uh, slightly different, uh, but it's also different in the fact that there's no C30, I'm sorry, C69. This is a different setup where it has this, the two separate individual caps here but you can see that C69 is not present so again it's a third different style and option here but again the the way you read it is different you can actually see that it's a whole different everything is silk screened a bit different on here compared to the other ones as well it has the the lines and the denotion for the different components here so it's a you know it's got all the outlines for all the different components whereas you know these these types don't have that so it's yet another uh, style of 7000 here. So again, not going to be any different. We will test our HOT here. Make sure it's good. Yeah. Well, this is already a rebuilt one, so we know it's going to be good. Get out of here, you stupid wires. Just for the heck of it, we'll do it again. All right, so now we know there's no C69, so C36, we just, there's no way to go diagonally except for just going to the empty spot here. So we have this, this uh, trace here is obviously tied together. There is no C69, but we go to caddy corner like normal, and if we read our voltage drop, well, there you go. C36, C36 is good. Now, if we read directly across it, same thing, because these two are tied together, so it doesn't matter which one of these you go to, but We'll go straight across and diagonal, so it's good. If you read, if you go across it like this and it reads shorted, it's no good. So that's how you test all those. The the different uh, three different main styles, 
the three main different types of 7000 and hopefully that, that helps you out and you know if you do have a four post one like this that's bad uh, you can get a cap like this like this one I believe it's a 1600 volt uh, I forget like point point three nine 1600 volt I, I can't recall offhand what that's supposed to be uh, but actually you know we can just read this one this one is it's hard to see uh, I can't tell here let's look Mm, that tells me nothing. Six, yeah, 16, 1600 volt. And then 6126, I can't say. But uh, regardless, you can take this type, this type and this style of two leg 36 and install it in here. All you do is you take a jumper. You can remove this cap and you take a piece of metal or piece of wire and you jumper. You jumper these two posts together. You jumper these two posts together. You jumper these two posts together. And you and you solder in that other style with the two legs to those two jumpers. And I'll put a link down below in the video description that details this, but it's very simple. You just take a jumper across these two, jumper across those two to simulate. Because we already talked, we already talked about how these two legs are, are shorted together. Uh, on each side of the cap and that's the way it's supposed to be that's normal because that's they're on the same side of the cap so you have to simulate that by putting a jumper across these two posts a jumper across these two posts then you just take your two posts or two leg cap and solder each leg to those two jumpers and go about your business so it's a very quick and easy way to do it so i'll put a link down below on that and i'll also put a link down below to the correct um, rating and, and replacement for that c36 that you can use to do that mod so, all right, just something quick and easy to show the detail here of what these are and the differences and how to read all the C36s. So, you know, I, I, I originally had an idea to do a video like this a while ago, but I kept getting sidetracked and sidetracked and never got around to it. And then a, a, thre a thread popped up on the KLOV or CLOV, however you say it, forums about how to read those. So I figured I'd throw this out there to help people out who don't know how to read those and what they should read in circuit, out of circuit, things like that. So um, obviously if you suspect it's bad, if it reads bad in the circuit, take it out of circuit. If it still reads bad out of circuit, it's bad. If it reads good out of circuit, then there's something else shorted, like the HOT or something else on the circuit. So uh, yeah, hopefully it helps you out. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you want. Lots more stuff on the way, so stay tuned.